If there is any city that deserves the title of concrete jungle, Tokyo is it. Every weekday, 36 million people descend on the city center. But high above the din of densely packed life, another worker army is busy bringing a bit of nature back to the Japanese capital. Kazuo Takayasu was the country's first urban beekeeper, and his organization, led by some 300,000 of its employees, has been at the forefront of making the city green again. Honeybees pollinate flowers, allowing so many vital things in the city to grow. We also believe they can pollinate people. The thinking before was that nature and cities had nothing to do with each other. We're altering that view. The view from the rooftop of a nearby sake brewing company is noticeably changed. Four years after its Tokyo vice president learned of the bee project, he put his employees to work. Today, they harvest a variety of vegetables. For company executive Asami Oda, the project has brought another, more surprising benefit. When I come here, the hustle and bustle of the city comes to a halt. It is so relaxing, and it eases all the stress. Still, there is a much more serious urgency to the greening of cities, one that is about life and death. Leading scientists believe the Earth is undergoing what they call a great extinction, caused specifically by human overdevelopment. And they warn that without more green spaces like this, the Earth's entire ecosystem could collapse. And so local authorities are mandating that all new buildings reserve areas for natural habitat. On the top of Tokyo's concert hall, officials are planting the seed for a new generation. At this biodiversity hunt, children are encouraged to explore what types of creatures live in urban centers, especially when there are sufficient places for them to spread their wings. Steve Chow, Al Jazeera, Tokyo.